If someone said to you, Chris, if someone said to you, I know, that would you have the OAT or would, would you I recommend it? it? Yeah, yeah, I would. What would you say to them? Someone considering the same thing. Yeah. Well, the um, OAT procedure I had uh, uh, yesterday um, was absolutely fantastic. Um, the movement I have got now, um, 24 hours later, is incredible. Um, I didn't think I'd ever get to this position so quickly. And I would highly recommend uh, anybody who's got a frozen shoulder uh, coming along and having the uh, OAT procedure. Um, it'll change their lives. Great. It started off just by an innocuous accident. I um, uh, fell off a, a retaining bank and as I fell off my bank I um, thrust out my left arm trying to save myself and uh, I was instantly in pain and um, uh, it turned, um, yeah. well I say instantly in pain, the pain lasted for about five minutes. It was absolutely one of the worst pains I've ever felt. Mm -hmm. I'm probably thinking if I was a woman it would be probably like ch childbirth. <laughs> Um, and during that time, I had a couple of falls, one of which was quite, uh, well, just the way I landed, it just it, it aggravated my shoulder. Yeah. And uh, um, from that point on, I think I was a bit more cautious as to where I went. Mm. Um, the pain, yeah, I was actually in a situation where like, every so often, you just catch yourself. You know, you, 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 you'd flick a door shut, you'd go, oh, so short, yes. yeah, it's sore. I went and saw uh, the video again and said to her, it, it, it doesn't seem to be improving. If anything, the pain's getting worse. Her suggestion was we'd either do a cortisone or hydrolyzation. Mm. And uh, so at that stage, I said to her, I'm not keen on definitely cortisone because I've, I've heard it's not always effective and mm. can cause a lot of problems. Uh, I wasn't so sure about hydrolyzation, so uh, after I saw her, obviously I was research this, find out about um, that procedure and I wasn't keen on that either. And uh, so it was at that stage um, I was looking around and I came across Trigenics. However, I still went for my uh, MRI uh, and um, it was at that point I decided, yeah, I'm not going to do that once the research for Trigenics done. I thought, well, that's the answer. I was assuming I was going to get off to Toronto. <laughs> Lucky for me, <laughs> you're a trained practitioner, yes. and I'm here in Hamilton, New Zealand, which is yes. fantastic. Yes. 